Hello everyone and welcome again in this second tutorial of the RF UIRT 433 MHz. Okay, uh, again we have introduced these two modules in the first video whereby I really recommend you guys to go and see the first video if you have been do so. It's very basic introduction to this module and we have learned how to connect it to the MCU and also how to transmit a small data. Okay, uh, as we said before, this one, these two modules, they are very cheap and also can support very long distance of up to one kilometer. And also very easy to be interfaced with any MCU, especially Arduino and Raspberry Pi. Uh, okay, so this model, again, they have two operational mode. Uh, the first operation mode is the normal transmitter uh, receiver mode. Okay whereby when we send some data to the module, the circuit transmitter will transmit the data and receive, or receive it and send to the MCU. However, today we will talk about the second mode of operation where we can set the internal parameter of this uh, module. Okay, so let's talk about the wiring. So again, if we hold the module like this, we can see the wiring is start with the first pin, is the set pin. TX, RX, ground, and VCC. Okay, now in order to normally connect the RF to any MCU or any Arduino, first of all, we left the set floating. The set will not connect to anywhere, and also we connect the R TX to the RX, RX, TX, ground, ground, VCC to any pin 3.3 volt or 5 volt. However, if today we want to set the internal parameter of this module, so we have to connect the set to the ground, TX to the TX, RX to the RX. This one only for the set uh, operation mode. Not for the, no if the normal operation mode, you have to leave the set floating, TX connect to the RX, RX connect to the TX. Just follow the first video. Okay. Um, in this mode, in the set mode, we will use it to set the parameter, like we change the power rate. We change the on-air power rate and also we change the power consumption and the mode of the module. Okay, so here I have already changed the connection from the previous video. Okay, I have connected another uh, pin from the set to the ground, ground to ground and VCC. And also here I have swapped the RX, T TX, TX, RX, RX. Okay, so we have done with the hardware. Let's go to the laptop and see how we uh, change the parameter of the model using AT commands. Hello, welcome again. So we here we have changed to the laptop. Okay, and as we can see, this is the manual, the user manual for the RFUI RT 433 megahertz and supporting one kilometer coverage area. Okay, this is how it looks like. And if we go down, you see some like pip, some introduction, packaging list, um, pin out, this all of you, we talk about it, about the VCC. Again, we say support from 3.3 up to five, power consumption less than 200 milliamp, ground, RX, TX. Uh, this is the most important thing, actually. <clears throat> if we keep this one floating, okay, we don't connect it to anywhere. Then the, the operation of this model will be just a normal as a receiver or transceiver. <clears throat> However, if we connect this to the ground because it's active law, all the data we send to the TX or RX of this model only for the internal parameter of this module of this transceiver. Okay, this is the operation uh, model. Uh, sorry, the operation uh, mode. You can see if you one, two, or three, each of which has different uh, power consumption or current consumption. And also for sure will be affecting the sensitivity, transmission time delay, uh, loop bag, and also the sensitivity of the module. Okay. And dimension, mechanical dimensions, and the most important thing here, here are some examples, not really important. Here they will show you how to connect to the any MCU. Okay, for example, we connect RX to TX, TX to RX, just cross over. However, in this tutorial, we connect RX, RX, TX, TX, because we want to set the parameter of the module. 
Okay, so the most important thing is this is not really important yet. We go to the AT command. Where's the AT command? Ah, yes, here it is. Okay, <clears throat> AT command because all this all today we talk about the AT commands. Again, we say we can go to the AT command by setting the by pulling the set mode to the ground and we connect Alex, Alex, then we reset the module. Okay? So here are a set of 80 comments that we use and match with this model. We will go into details of this one, but first of all, let's prepare the, uh, the Arduino communication with the module. Okay? So first of all, when you want to start with the module, you have to upload a new sketch minimum just like this okay I upload it to the module we go to here okay okay we upload okay we upload an empty sketch okay then so after we have uploading the module let's do this. we open the serial monitor then when we typing AT is mean is a short form of attention we should get an OK OK is mean we're already successfully connecting and talking to the uh, module whenever we type AT OK is mean the module responding okay if we do like this then we can see here okay whenever we are typing AT it should respond with OK Okay, so first of all, we use AT plus P to change the, the power rate of the module. The, okay, first of all, before we change, let's see what is the default parameters. The default parameter, we can uh, use this instruction to view the default parameter. We can use AT plus RX. Then here are the default parameter. Power rate is 9600 channel RC is mean channel 001. This is the, the sensitivity. Yeah, the transmission power sensitivity. And also this is the power mode FU3. So now in order to change the power rate, we have to use this command, okay? Which is AT plus P. So let's say, and also you have to be aware of this only these model these power rates are supported so you cannot put any number that you like you have to use 80 plus p then let's say you want to set to 2400 boom then it will reply okay with the new power rate so now if we check the the stored parameter again we can see that the power rate is already changed. Okay, you see this is the default one. Here we change it, and here's the updated one. Okay, so now let's go next to the channel. Okay, the default channel is 001. Here is the default channel. And we can use this instruction to change the channel. You can see. 80 attention plus C now let's say channel 003 now we have changed it so again if we go to check the parameter here we can see the channel is already changed okay so next next ah uh, next is the uh, uh, the, the mode or the function mode of the uh, UIR, uh, sorry, of the module. As as can see here, as we said before, there are three modes. The FU, the FU1, FU2, and also FU3. Here it is. FU1, FU2, each of which has different power consumption, different sensitivity, and power uh, modulator. So, we use this instruction or this command to change the FU change the mode. We use a tension plus 
let's say we want to change the default is a view three let's say we change to f u one let's say f u one okay and here is okay f u one so it's mean we already set to f u one so if you see here we check again here we go we have changed to a few one so now we have already changed the power rate channel and also the mode the power mode okay next we change the transmitting power module okay so here we use this instruction or this command to change the power whereby we have only these values of the power from 1 to 8 we start from minus 1 to 20 dBm the default is 20 dBm let's try to change it by using this instruction 80 plus p now which p1 let's say we go for p5 there we go okay p5 so p5 we should see 11 now here we go the rp now 11 okay so with this we can change all the parameters which is the power rate channel and also the transmitting power and also the mode or the module mode okay then if you want to see a specific parameter just now we use a t plus rx to view all the parameter however if you want to see a specific parameter you can use the following command a t plus r then you choose either p for the power rate c for the channel or f or p let's say use f there we go written f for f u1 okay or we need only let's say the power rate only p you should return p2400 okay and also we can use the rx as we say just now to view all the parameter okay and also the most important thing is is the ah we can use the v to view the version the, the software version a t plus v you can see is the version is 2.6 and um, sleep just to say the model to sleep not really big deal not important ah, and this one also is important to retain everything all the parameter we have set to the default we use a t plus default so now we should see all the parameters have been changed as we see here to default okay so if we check again the rx here we go it's written back to 9600 channel 001 plus 20 dbm for the uh, transmitting power and also fu3 these all are the default okay so here is how we can change the uh, the internal parameter or how to customize the parameter for example if we have a very limited power in our system and we want to use the transmitter or this model to be reduce the consumption of it so we have to change the power and also change all these parameter also maybe the the power is not match with your system also you can change by using this module by using so these comments okay so so far i guess yeah we have finished everything already so we have with this tutorial yeah, and also i will leave the list of this ap comment down below in the description so yeah we have reached to the end of this tutorial thank you very much and see you soon